Hello, good evening. <clears throat> Hello, good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you? Fine, thank you. How's everything? Good? How's the rain? <laughs> Is it hot? Is it cold? How's everything? Okay, so guys, we're going to start in a second. Just let me share. Okay, over here. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, guys, <clears throat> we're going to start our class with a conversation, okay, before uh, introducing the topic. Okay. Look at this. Uh, we have um, the conversation between Daniel and Andrea. Look at this. It says, hey, nice computer. What's this for? That's a modem. <laughs> it's used to connect the computer to the phone line. So I can send faxes and access the internet. So by the way, can you see the, the book, the conversation? Let me know, up to your microphones. <clears throat> yes, can you see that? Mm, and can you see the, can you see the PDF, the book? Yes, no, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's start uh, again. Mm, good evening, guys. Okay, Raquel, thanks for letting me know. Okay, again, uh, hey, nice computer. What's this for? That's a modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line so I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that. Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astron astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything, sports, cars. Uh -huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Hmm. I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay, let's see. Um, We're gonna be practicing this a little bit more and then you start with the speaking practice, okay? Hey, nice computer, what's this for? That's a modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line so it can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that. Yes, and I use the World Wide Web. World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything, um, sports, cars. Uh huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Hmm, I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Let's see. We're going to start with some of you. Um, Okay, Carlos and Claudia, please. Carlos, you hear Carlos? Carlos Alberto. Okay, perfect, guys. Uh, please start. Uh, Carlos, you're Daniel and Claudia, you're... Okay. Okay. Hey, what's the deal? 
What is for? That as modern, it is used to connect the computer to the phone line so I can surface and access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy movies to use about anything. For how? Oh, oh, and I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Mm, I just use uh, my computer to write letters and report. Why don't you get on the internet? It is not really expensive. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna be checking. Oh, yes, the Danny, well, Carlos, finish, maybe. Uh, no se ve. Yo la digo. Yo la digo. Maybe I will eat sounds like food. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be checking some words. Just, 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 just. Okay. Yes. Let's see another one. Maybe uh, internet worldwide, wide, wide. Astronomy. Okay. Astronomy. Astronomy. Um. Anything else? Anything else? Um. Let me see. Okay. Exchange. 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 Mm, any other word? Okay, belong. Okay, I belong to a chat group. Okay, and I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Okay, letters or letter. Okay, and uh, another one, maybe it will be, okay, expensive, oh, that's clear. Okay, reports, okay, reports. Used, why, astronomy, anything, exchange, belong, letters, reports. Okay, let's see, let's read it again together. Hey, nice computer, what's this for? It's a modem, it's used to connect the computer to the phone line, so I can send faxes and access to the internet. So you can go online and all that, Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, uh, movies, UFOs, uh, just about anything. Sports, cars, uh-huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Hmm. I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Yeah, that's boring, right? Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Esmeralda and Irma. Esmeralda, you hear Irma? Esmeralda, maybe you can turn on your microphone. We I am driving, right? Ah, you're driving. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, let's see, Jacqueline, you hear Jacqueline and Jennifer? No, no, no. The question is if I am Andres. Ah, okay. Yeah, no problem. I thought you were driving. <laughs> no, I am in the, in the car, but not driving. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for a partner. Let me see. Um, maybe uh, Jennifer, Raquel. I don't know if she's here. Let me check the chat. Um, no, she's not here. Jennifer is a listener. Uh, maybe um, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos? Help us. You're Daniel. Hello, Juan Carlos? Activate your microphone. You're mute. Juan Carlos de quién? Ya, ya, Juan Carlos Maravilla. Este último era así. 
You're driving. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, Luis Fernando, you hear Luis? My goodness, what's going on today? That's because of the rain. Okay, Luis. Uh, Raul? Hi, Raul. Hello, Raul, Rene. Let's see. Uh, okay, Luis, got it. Rene, Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. Hello, Rene. Okay, please. Uh, let's see. Saul, help us, please, Saul. Okay, Fernando. Okay, Saul, uh, could you uh, be Daniel, please? Saul, uh, Alexander? Mm -hmm. Hey, my computer. What's this for? That's a modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line. So I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that. Yes. And and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy movies. UFOs just about anything. Sports cars. Uh-huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Can you use my computer to write letters and reports? Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Okay. Let's see. Let's check that again. Used, used, used. Why astronomy, astronomy, anything, exchange, belong, letters, reports, will, will, okay, will, will. Again, listen again. Hey, nice computer. What's this for? That's a modern. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line so I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that. Yes, and I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything, sports, cars, uh-huh. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on astronomy. Hmm, I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. It's like $30, right? <laughs> Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. Let's see. Volunteers. Volunteers. Activate your microphones. Volunteers. Two volunteers. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Teacher. Okay. Great. Anybody else? Anybody else who wants to try again? Okay, Jacqueline, go ahead, Jacqueline. Okay, you start, Jennifer. Uh, okay. Hey, nice computer, what is for? That's a modem. It's used to connect the computer to the phone line. So I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all that? Yes. And I use the World Wide Web for finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, just about anything. Sports? Cars? Uh, and I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group 
on astronomy. Hmm. I just use the com use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. It sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So I was into the conversation. <laughs> okay, very good, ladies. Let's see, two more volunteers. Volunteers? Remember, this is will, will, will. Okay, no will, will, will. Okay, maybe I will. It sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. UFOs, astronomy, anything, exchange. Okay, listen, exchange, exchange, belong. Let's see, volunteers, two volunteers. Raise your hands, guys, raise your hands. Please, or activate your microphones. Anybody else? Not here, no? So do you wanna try a second time? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes okay. you can. Irma? Yes, I. Hey, nice computer. What this for? That's a moment. I use a connector computer to the phone line so I can send faxes and access the internet. So you can go online and all of that? Yes, and I used to work quite well. For finding information on astronomy, movies, UFOs, use about anything. Sports, cars? Mm hmm. And I can exchange information with people too. I belong to a chat group on a astronomy. Mm. I just use my computer to write letters and reports. Why don't you get on the internet? It's not really expensive. Maybe I will. I will. It sounds like fun. Sounds. It sounds Thanks. like fun. Okay. Very good, guys. So now we will continue uh, with our topic for today. And we're going to be checking infinitives and gerunds. We're gonna be checking this in order to express, oh, okay, so let me see if I can fix it. Second, maybe, what, what's going on? No, 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 wait. Okay, so I'm gonna download it. So maybe it works better. So have you seen your book, by the way? Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, it's here, got it. Okay, so we're here. Can you see that, guys? Can you see that? Uh, three grammar focus. What's this for? Yes. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, better. So you can sum it, maybe. Okay, so look at this. Uh, we're going to be checking infinitives and gerunds, and we're going to be um, using this in order to express a purpose, okay? For example, look at this. Oh, uh, infinitives. A uh, modem is used to connect computers to phones. So what is the purpose of a modem? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose? To connect computers to phones. Computers are often used to write letters. I can use the World Wide Web to find information. So remember that the infinitive, okay, infinitive forms are the ones which start with to, right? To work, for example, to study, to play, to, uh, let's see, to find, to write, to, oh, uh, let's see, to send, um, okay, to play, oh, well, we already have it, to practice, and we're going to be using these infinitive forms in order to show purpose. So what do we mean by purpose? So you show a reason why you use something, right? For example, I... For example, I'm studying English too. So what is the reason? What is your purpose? I'm studying English too. Saul, NAD, I'm studying English too. To travel, to talk with a friend, to visit another country, to chat with your friends. So what is your purpose? I study English to fly to another country. Uh huh. To travel to travel. another country. Okay. So you're showing a purpose when you use this infinitive form in order to express purpose. I'm studying English to travel to another country. Um. Okay. I'm working, okay, I'm working extra hours, okay, okay, so why are you working extra hours? Two, any idea? So what could be a purpose in order to do so, right? So I'm working extra hours too. Saving more money. Okay. To save more money, okay. To save more money. Let's see. Um, um, for example, I'm writing a letter. Why are you writing a letter? What is your purpose? And let it write in a For example, to, to, communi too. to communicate with with a friend, for example. Uh -huh. See, I can use my cell phone too. So what could be a purpose? I can use my cell phone too. So what is the purpose that you have when you use your cell phone? I can use my cell phone too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What is the purpose that you give to your uh, phone, your smartphone? You can activate your microphone and give some examples. I use my cell phone too. Let's see. Anybody from the class? Um, Claudia, what do you think? Why do you use your cell phone? Ruth, Rene, Raul, Juan Carlos. Send message. I, I use my cell phone to send messages. Uh -huh. Send messages. Okay. Um, okay. I use my, okay, let's see, my pencil too. So why do you use your pencil? Ideas. I use my pencil to draw with. Oh, okay, to draw, yes, to draw. To draw. Okay, so I think that's uh kind of getting clear, right? Uh, let's see another example. Okay, computers are used to. Okay. So what is a purpose? Computers Computer. are used to. Uh huh. Few information, write, um, write letters. Mm -hmm. To find watch the internet. information. Okay, to find information on the world wide web on the internet. Okay, to find information. Anything else? To oh, so what was another example that you mentioned? To find information. To study, to study to to work, write le write letters to work, work yeah. to write letters. Yes, of course. Uh huh, Claudia. To play, <laughs> yes, to play solitario. <laughs> okay, to study, to, to work, play. to write letters, to play. To um, save information. Okay, to save information. Anything else? So why do you use your computer? What is the purpose that you give it? To listen to music. Yes, to listen to music. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is about uh, the usage of infinitives in order to express a purpose. So now let's see um, a second part, gerunds. So how do we use the gerunds? Look at this. It's used for connecting computers to phones. So they're often used with uh, for writing letters. I can use it for finding information. So what is the difference between uh, this one and this one. So in this case, you're going to be using for, and then you're going to add a gerund. It's used for connecting. It's used for writing. It's used for finding. So that's the difference. And the meaning, they both mean the same. You're going to express a purpose. So uh, again, computers are used for, so now what do we have to add? An ING form. So ING forms, for example. So computers are used for what? The same for, guys? for finding information, another purpose, for listening to music, for writing letters, or anything else, guys, that you want to add, for playing video games, or anything else? Okay, Saul, uh, Claudia, 
Root. Work. Or work or working. 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 Aha, uh -huh. for working. Or studying. Okay. Watching the movies. Ah, uh -huh. for watching movies. Yes, so that's a good purpose. <laughs> yeah, you know, I watch movies. Uh, I use my computer for uh, watching movies and series. <laughs> <laughs> for anything else that you use your computer for. <clears throat> for sending, uh, okay, some emails. Okay. Or surfing on the internet okay so the difference between uh four and two is that when you add uh, the two marker so it's called infinitive marker acá este two se le llama infinitive marker porque recuerden que el two también lo utilizamos cuando nosotros queremos indicar que el two también tiene función de preposición ¿no? Yo voy, ah, I'm going to Las Vegas, I'm indicating the movement. So that's a preposition of movement, una preposición de movimiento. Acá no, acá es un, um, un um, infinitive marker. So in order to express purpose, uh, computers are used to find information, to study, to work, to write letters, to play, to save information, to listen to music. Remember, you have to add uh, two, okay? Two plus, okay, two infinitive. That means infinitive. Okay, and in the other uh, case, you're going to use for plus an ing form. So it, it means a gerund and the rest of your sentence. Computers are used for finding information, for listening to music, for writing letters, for playing video games, for working. So you're gonna use for, for plus ing forms. Questions, any question? So you can take a picture if you want. Oh, okay. So um, the meaning, the meaning of these two cases is the same. That significado del mismo, so they show purpose. Computers are used to find information. Las computadoras se utilizan para encontrar información. And the same. Computers are used for encontrar información. That's the same. Para escuchar música. Para escribir cartas. Para jugar videojuegos. So it's basically the same. Okay. Any question? Saúl, eh, eh, Ruth, eh, Juan Carlos. Hello, guys. Are you here? <laughs> Are you alive? No question. <laughs> okay, so that's clear. Oh. Very good. So we continue with uh, something else. And look at this. So let me erase that. And we're going to be checking uh, something else. Okay. So what do you know about this technology? Complete the phrases in column A with information from column B. Then compare with the partner. Satellites are used. What do you think? So read the possible answer. Satellites are used. So you have to add the, the, the particle, the marker. Satellites are used to study the world's weather, perform dangerous tasks, read the latest weather report, transmit Plus, television. television program. Uh -huh. Transmit television. Let me see. Uh, okay. So we're going to draw a line. Satellites are used to transmit television programs. Okay. Robots are, okay. Robots are used, are sometimes used to identify criminals, make a yeah. photocopy. <laughs> what do you think? Identify. Identify criminals. Okay. You can use a fax machine to read the latest weather reports. OK, 
Okay, yes, to read the latest weather report. DNA fingerprints, uh, fingerprinting is used to or for, well, in this case, two. So DNA fingerprinting is used to, what do you think? Identify criminal. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so we got two, okay. So maybe we need to move on. So robots are sometimes used to, so what could be another possibility for robots? Storing encyclopedia, transmit telephone codes, study the world's weather. Yeah, it could be. And let's see the last one. CD-ROM is sometimes used to CD ROM. Store an encyclopedia. To store an encyclopedia. Okay, great. Let's see, we'll continue with uh that that was the short reading. We will continue uh checking. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna use another resource because that's causing some troubles. Okay, so we're gonna be checking the syllable stress in this case. So when uh, are you going to stress a syllable or a word? So we're gonna be watching the video right now, and uh, let me see, I'm gonna share the sound. Pronunciation, syllable stress, part A. Pronunciation, syllable stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Okay, can you notice where, uh, where in these uh, words is the stress of the syllable. For example, the first one, satellite, satellite, internet, photograph, invention, look at this, invention, assignment, computer, and how about this one? CD, ROM, engineer, entertain, let's see. So now try to do this exercise where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Okay, so how about these words? Where is the stress? An idea? So how do you pronounce that? Language. Uh-huh. The second one? Understand. Understand. Number three? Robotics. Robotics. Okay. Telephone. Telephone. Okay, this one? Transmission. And this one? PCR. PCR. 
So now listen, she's going to be uh, pronouncing the words. You can have a clear idea. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, Language. transmission, telephone. robotics, understand, VCR. So if you notice the stress goes in different places, so that depend on the word, right? Languages, languages, Language. telephone, Language. telephone, 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 mission, transmission, 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 robotics, 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 understand, understand, VCR, VCR. Let's listen a second time, okay? Robotics, understand. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. Okay, once more. Languages, languages, language, language, languages. languages. Okay, listen, languages. listen, 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 listen. Which telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. Okay, languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR, VCR. Okay, nice. So that was part of the syllable stress of some words. And we continue with, um, I'm going to be checking this. Okay, so this is, a, this is a conversation. Okay, but I need to uh, check this grammar point before uh, doing that conversation. Okay, so this is a second part of imperatives and infinitives. But in this case, we're going to be learning that in order to um, give a suggestion. And we're going to be uh, checking how to use the infinitives and the gerund and imperatives in order to do this. Okay, imperatives and infinitives. So please pay attention to this video. It's a short video. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Hello everyone! Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Okay. Let's see, before continuing with the video, imperatives. What is an imperative, guys? Imperatives? So what do we do with an imperative? With an imperative, we give instructions or we give orders, right? For example, so it means uh, in an imperative uh, form, you only use what? For example, you say stand up, right? sit down pay attention so what is another imperative listen up so what could be any other imperative what would be another imperative be careful be careful okay be careful shut up uh -huh. <laughs> shut up <laughs> anything else Yes. For example, clean, clean the house. Okay. So I'm giving you an order, a command, clean the house. Do your homework. Get ready. Write the report. Okay. Write it. 
So these are imperatives. So we use them in order to give instructions or give orders. So they are commands. Okay, stand up, sit down, pay attention, listen up, be careful, clean the house, do your homework, get ready, write it. Okay, so these are just some examples. Let's see. So now let's continue with uh, the next part of the video. So I'm going to place these over here. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When you Okay, so I need you to check something on this uh, video. We're going to be using some uh, phrases or expressions like be sure, be sure, be sure, don't forget, make sure, remember, and try not, okay, try not to. So these are some words that you can use uh, when you want to give a suggestion using imperatives or uh, using infinitives. For example, look at this. Be sure to turn it on. Asegúrate de, be sure to turn it on. What, what is the meaning? The translation in Spanish, be sure. Be sure to turn it on. Uh -huh. the, the... De encenderlo, arrancarlo, okay? So mm -hmm. don't forget to dial the area code. No olvides marcar el código de, de área. De área. Mm -hmm. Make sure to hit the end button. Asegúrate de touch, right? The end button. Toca ahí el botón. Finalizar, terminar. Remember to pay the bill every month. Recuerda pagar el recibo, el recibo, cada, recibo. Mes. cada mes. Try not to. Intenta no. No intentes hablar mucho. Ah, intenta no, no hablar, hablar mucho. Por mucho tiempo. Okay, so we're going to be using these phrases with the infinitives. So you are going to combine imperatives with infinitives. So let's continue with our video. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. Okay, so this is what I was mentioning before. So we have an imperative, okay, make sure. And then we have an infinitive, make sure to study your verbs. So we're going to be using imperatives plus infinitive forms. Asegúrate de estudiar tus, uh, your verbs, right? So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Okay, so and this is what I was mentioning before. So these are the ex some expressions that you can use in order to uh, uh, show a suggestion using imperatives plus infinitives. 
Let's see, let's uh, see the examples. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use the dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Okay, so let's see. It's time to create some examples. Remember, we we'll start with the imperative. Be sure to, okay. Be sure to, for example, to close the door. Okay. Make sure to. So what could be any any other idea, guys? Make sure, asegúrate de, to make sure to. Okay, make sure to write him. Asegúrate de escribirle. Uh, don't forget, don't forget. So this is a negative imperative, un imperativo negativo. Right? My condom, and then you add the infinitive. Don't forget to, okay, don't forget to, to do your homework. Okay, don't forget to do your homework. So what are some more examples? Remember, remember to, so what ideas, Claudia and Jennifer, Carla? Remember, oh, remember to call me. Yes, right. Remember to call me. So uh, remember that when we use uh, the imperative plus the um, infinitive, so we create a nice suggestions, okay? So this is in order to express suggestions. Remember to call me. Remember to... Uh -huh. Invite some friends. <laughs> uh -huh. Remember to invite some friends. Okay. Try. Try to. Try to be on time, for example. Try to be on time. Try to be on time. Try to be on silence. Try to be on silence. Uh -huh. So uh, this is really useful because this is going to help you when you want to give a suggestion. So try to be, uh, try to be polite, okay? Try to be polite. So this is a nice suggestion. Don't forget, okay, to pack, okay? to pack your sandals or your shoes, your, your clothes, okay? So don't forget to pack your clothes. So we're uh, going on, uh, let's say, on a trip next, uh, the next Wednesday, because it's a holiday, right? So don't forget to pack your clothes. Let's see, let's check some more examples, okay? <clears throat> Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Okay, so and basically this is about the negative suggestion, right? Be sure not to speak in your native language. Make sure not to forget your dictionary. And we uh, come up with uh, positive suggestions at the end. So be sure not to speak in your native language, right? Because you're learning English. So this is going to be positive at the end for you, right? Make sure not, okay? Make sure not. To forget your dictionary don't forget okay so and in this case what happened so we already have a negative right don't forget to stay quiet in class remember 
not to translate into your native language. Try not to mispronounce the words. So we're going to be checking that. Let's see. Um, now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, so let's see. Try to give me one example before uh, leaving, adding a negative. Okay, mm, let's see. Examples. Try not. So what is the suggestion that you will give somebody, uh, well, that you care about, right? So try not to. To drink. Oh, beer. yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Try not to to miss uh, the class. Okay, so the, that's my <laughs> that's my advice and suggestion. Okay, try not to to stay awake until let's say until uh, late. Delay today, okay? Try not to any other suggestion? Try not to Okay, try not to leave before cleaning. Okay, intenta no irte antes de hacer la limpieza before cleaning. Try not to leave before cleaning. Okay, um, well, we're gonna stop in here. I don't know, guys, if you have any question about it, let me know. Questions, Saul, anybody? Um, let's see, Juan Carlos, Roberto, what is Roberto, Juan Carlos, Carla, Raul? I'm gonna pass the tenants, please. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. In yes. This this verb is only for this negative suggestion. Uh huh. This so this is a trying. negative. Uh huh. Tell me. So we we going to use just this verb. Uh, try mm -hmm. for uh, make this negative suggestion. No, you can use oh. any other verb. Like, uh, so here you have some of examples. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember. They are some of this. imperatives. Uh huh. So remember that we need an imperative, we need imperatives, and then you add uh, not in this case because these are in the negatives. But if you want to give a positive, so you just add the imperative. For example, remember. To bring, to bring your passport, okay? Remember to bring your passport. So this is a positive, but when we use the negative, remember not to drink, uh, let's say, soda, for example. But in this case, uh, this is a negative, um, let's say, suggestion. But you're giving a negative suggest, a negative uh, suggestion or a structure in order to uh, give a positive suggestion. Remember not to drink soda because that's not going to help you, right? So in that sense, we use uh, a negative suggestion. Okay. Um. For example, make sure not to forget your dictionary because you're going to need it, okay? Don't forget not to stay uh, quiet in class. So you need to practice. You need to participate. So in that sense, you use a negative imperative in order to get a request or get a positive result, let's say. 
Yes, uh, tell me. Questions? Who was that? Carlos? Is that clear, Carlos? Or I don't know who, who will open the microphone. Yeah, I think so. mm -hmm. No more questions, right. guys. No more questions, please. Okay, right thank now. you. Okay, nice. Well, if you have any question uh, when you're uh, writing your examples or doing something, please let me know. Okay, now I'm going to pass the attendance list. And let's see, we have, uh, please say present, guys. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present. Okay, Claudia Maria Garcia. Present, teacher. Okay. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Gustavo Elizabeth Torres. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you, Jennifer. Juan Carlos Cubilla Bonilla. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Carla Vigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Carla Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano eh, Guisabal. Marco Antonio. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth Marielo Samaya de Guardado. Ahí está, teacher. Ok, thanks. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you, Saúl. Stephanie Yamilet Pérez. Stephanie Yamilet Pérez. Ok, Ruth. No, Stephanie here. Ok, so that's all for today's lesson. And by the way, please don't miss uh, any class because this is going to end in a bad result at the end. So having these uh, red uh, signs over here. Mm -hmm. So remember that we only have one hour. Okay, so this is the uh, hour practice. Uh -huh. Tell me. Hi, Hi. Um, sorry, I have a question for that this week. Uh, uh, only today, Monday, we have a class, I understand, but uh, the other days we haven't. Uh, my question is, the platform is uh, to section three and the midterm is, is completed this week or that, uh, that the request is for the next week? Uh -huh. So the thing is that we have, well, you had a change, right? Uh, and you were working with somebody else, right? At the beginning. So far we yeah, have, yeah. so far we have been studying until let me see until this a uh, grammar point until this one, two point eight. So my suggestion will be so some of these exercises are uh, just writing or reading or completing some uh, uh, readings or activities like that. So you can do it, right? But the grammar points we have covered are, I well, I continue with you since I think, let me see. Um, so we must complete the section one and two, but I think we're gonna cover one more grammar point before uh, completing that. 
But you can complete week number one. Week one, I mean, section number one. Section number one. So you can complete section number one and try to complete until uh, this grammar point that is uh, imperatives and infinitives were given suggestions. And basically we finish the lesson mm -hmm, because these are uh, exercises. This is a reading exercise. Mm -hmm. So uh, oh, yes, I think you, you can complete this, the two sections. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. And uh, let me check the, um, so just let me check where, did, when do you have your midterm, okay? I can say it. Maybe I'm I'm going to check it and I, I'll let you know if there's a midterm. Me parece que el midterm estaría por acá, pero no lo veo. Déjenme checar eso. Midterm is, is in the same section three. Ajá, yo creería que está en la sección 3 porque ahorita apenas llevamos una semana. So we yeah, yeah. cover sí. eh, Estamos un poco confundidos, bueno, estoy un poco confundido en mi particular caso con eso porque, oh, yes. como es cierto, iniciamos con otro profesor, sí. pero no sé si nos van a pedir el mismo progreso a pesar de los cambios que han habido. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahorita hemos cubierto desde el, desde el día que, el, digamos, el día que nos reunimos. Hemos cubierto hasta la sección 2. Entonces, Permiso, puedo, puedo opinar. Este nos llamaron, creo, a todos para que el día jueves pasado termináramos la sección 2. Mm, okay. O sea, el, al jueves pasado teníamos que haber terminado la sección 2. Ah, Pero sí. Si, sí. si nosotros podemos adelantar y terminar toda la sección en estos días que estamos libres, eh, pues está bien, o sea, no es algo que vamos a ir junto con la teacher haciendo cada sección. Si nosotros podemos adelantar, según lo que entiendo, que nos han dicho, lo podemos hacer y terminar antes que todo. Uh -huh. Sí, como recuerden que solamente tenemos una hora, lastimosamente. Entonces, más que todo tratamos de que, de que ustedes practiquen. ¿verdad? Y acá, acá sería como nosotros terminaría la primera semana, como tuvieran una pausa de un día. Eh, creería yo que se terminó este día. Este día se cumplieron cinco días. Entonces hemos cubierto estas dos partes. Bueno, la primera parte pues, que no estuve, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí está, hasta aquí ya, ya completamos. Lo que sí tienen que ir haciendo son los ejercicios que van ahí, que van lecturas o hay unos, algunos ejercicios adicionales. Y con respecto al midterm, ese se estaría haciendo al finalizar la sección 3. Por eso todavía no, no hemos llegado ahí. Déjenme ver la programación que tenemos. Uh -huh. No, todavía a esa sección no hemos llegado. No sé si, qué le dijeron a ustedes, si tenían que tener la sección 3 también. De, ¿no? Me parece que no. Porque ahorita en sección 1 y 2 se cubren en la primera semana. Sí, solo dijeron que 1 y 2. Ajá. Exacto, estamos bien, estamos bien. Ya después de la sección 3, sí, ya va el, eh, siempre van las actividades de, diarias y luego el examen, el examen medio. Pero igual como dice la compañera, pueden avanzar, pueden avanzar, no hay problema, pueden ir haciendo las lecturas y también este, bueno, el des desarrollo se va a ir dando de los temas también. Así que también no, no se vayan a sentir que, o sea, que, lo van a, que no van a tener apoyo, ¿verdad? Ok, um, ¿alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Miss, no. yo solo que no, no escuché, se me cortó la parte cuando pasó la asistencia. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Irma Jacqueline Manzano. Irma Jacqueline Manzano. Ah, oh, ok, de acuerdo. Listo, gracias. ¿Preguntas, chicos? ¿Questions? Díganme si tienen alguna otra pregunta. No. No. No, teacher. 
Okay, thanks a lot, guys, for being here. Please don't miss the classes because this is just an hour. Remember, this is just an hour and we have a little time, right, to practice. Recuerden que tenemos poquito tiempo para practicar, así que espero que, pues, practiquemos todas las clases que, que tengamos. Porque eso es lo más importante. Este, este espacio para que ustedes practiquen. Okay, thank you, guys. So that's all for today. Let me know if you have any question. Uh, send me a text, okay? Envíenme un mensaje. Si tienen una pregunta, yo les dejo un mensajito por ahí para que ustedes identifiquen cuál es mi número. Okay, thank you, guys. Uh, I'll see you next class. So, uh, have a happy holidays and have fun, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Feliz vacación a todos. Yes. Gracias. Good Bye. night. Bye. Try Bye. to stay safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Saul, do you have any question? No. Yes. yes uh, may you help me with the number uh, 1.11, I think. 1.11, section 2, I guess. Uh -huh, and neighbors in, in, in neighborhoods, something like that. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what the meaning of. Ah, the meaning of the vocabulary. Yeah, the meaning of the vocabulary they, they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to help you. 1.11 or 1.9? 1.9. I think it's 1. 11. 11, yes, I got it. Mm -hmm. It's a reading, it's a reading. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you... A reading exercise, but they this want one. to... This one. Match, We I have to match something here, like uh-huh. I don't I don't know the meaning. I meaning. Uh-huh. For example, um in this case you have a reading, you have to um let's say analyze like the reading. Um for example, uh, look at this. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. Uh, so you can infer the meaning from context. So can you see the reading here? This one? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Look at this. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. So uh, frustration. So this is, uh, let's say, like a key word that you can use in order to uh, notice that this is a negative, negative feeling, right? Frustration and resentment. So now mm -hmm. you go here, resentment, a way of behaving, Anger that grows over time and of a problem or difficulty on purpose, a step taken in order to achieve something, bother or annoy. For example, uh, bother, what's bother? Molestar, okay? Uh -huh. uh, una manera de comportarse, yeah. de no crecer con el tiempo. Uh -huh. So what do you think? Which could be uh, your... Uh... Uh huh. It's like that. You have to look for the definition. Resentment. What's resentment? Frustration. A way of behaving. Anger. A way of behaving. Okay, no. so you could check that. Let's see. And now, so what can you do in order to um check this? For example, uh, I suggest you to use this dictionary. I don't know if you know it, Oxford. Yes. Do you know it? Have you used it? Uh -huh. And then you, you can look up for this word, resentment. Uh, towards against somebody, a feeling of anger or unhappiness about something that you think is unfair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Infelicia. Uh -huh. So you, you can try. So read from the context. Look for the word in context, and if you still have doubts, so try to look uh, for the word uh, for an extra definition of the word. So it will be anger that grows over time. 
So let's try with that one. And then we have deliberately, a way of behaving, anger that grows, and a problem or difficulty on purpose, a step taken in order to achieve something or bother or annoy. Let's see, let's look up for the word in context. Uh, let me see. Entonces, lo que hacemos acá, when you don't, let's say, when you don't know a word, so you look up first for the word and you read the, the closest sentences. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they don't even know that they're getting on your nerves. So before you take extra measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. Mm, let's see. Um, you should talk about, okay. So I think the word is not there, right? Uh-huh. That is maybe we saw the situation and it's a little too long, but then in the issue it might be just stay out of neighbor's way. Yeah, I didn't find it. I don't know. Have you found it? No, no but I think I let me see. It. I... Oh yes, I think... it. it's here. <laughs> it's here. Can you see it? Here? Maybe they do in oh okay. Maybe mm -hmm. they do it. Aha, uh -huh. look at, so let's read the sentence in context. Um when you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliberately. Um let's see. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. What's the meaning don't mean? Probablemente no tienen la intención o no quieren irritar. Hmm, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe they like uh, to annoy me or maybe they do it deliberately. Entonces, a lo mejor quizá a ellos les gusta molestarme o quizá lo hacen okay. deliberadamente. Mm -hmm. Lo creas o no, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Entonces, probablemente tus vecinos no quieran o tengan esa intención de retarte. Uh, often they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. O sea, a menudo no saben que están que, molestando a alguien, right? Entonces, okay. deliberadamente podría significar que. Si ellos no. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. A way of behaving. Anger the growth and a problem with purpose. On purpose. Probablemente uh -huh. no hacen deliberadamente, a propósito. So that's deliberadamente. Okay. Irritate. So what's irritate? Let's see. For context. Um, let's see. Uh, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they even know that they are getting on your nerves. Okay. So what could be irritate? A way of behaving, anger, and a problem on purpose. Bother, right? Uh -huh. Bother for a night. So I think that there is um let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. So it, it is really common to find some keywords. Yeah, that, that one is that one. That one. Uh -huh. I get I get I get uh, well, mm -hmm, that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh -huh. So and you make sure. And the last one. Okay, bother and I. Um, make make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Uh huh. Make sure. Yeah, make sure. Uh, make sure. Ah, okay. So yeah, well, we know this is medida, right? So, but from context. So let's see. Um, so what do they mean by measure? ¿Qué quieren decir by measure? Let me see. It was like here, I think, right? Some somewhere here. Here, measures. Okay. Often they don't know even uh, they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So now we can uh, understand that measure is what? A way of behaving, anger, and a problem, a purpose, or a step taken in order to achieve something. What do you think? In, in a problem or no, what if it's good? What happened when you take, imagine that you have a problem with, uh, with uh, let's say your neighbor or with a friend or with a co a coworker. So you have to take some measure measures yeah. in order to solve that problem. I think I get a, a steep uh-huh taken taken in order to achieve something uh -huh. so you have to uh, find a way in order to solve a, a situation or a difficulty I, I will i will suggest this one un paso tomado para solucionar o lograr algo uh -huh. in order to solve this situation so before you take extreme measures to fix the problem you should discuss it with them first so you take measures Mm -hmm. in order to Maybe. solve the, uh -huh, to solve the, a problem and we have manner okay what is manner the manner okay. mm -hmm. a way of behaving una manera oh. de comportarse de las que ya hicimos ya no ya no pueden ser uh -huh. tiene que ser um a, a, una manera de comportarse esta a way. yes a manner yes that's a manner result result we just have one more so let you know uh, result yeah, result sería anger that grow uh, anger that grow over time Mm, resolve, resolve. What's resolve? The, the meaning is like in Spanish. Let's see. Um, when you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Friendly manner. Aquí está, man. Friendly manner. Acá. A veces cuando nosotros vamos leyendo en contexto, vamos a encontrar palabras que nos van dando pistas, nos van dando ¿Qué palabras claves para comparar, para identificar qué significa algo? They compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good, to explain the situation, and if you can think of a possible solution, a simple solution, yeah, if talking doesn't work, as another person to help, this person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Uh -huh. Here. If talking doesn't work as another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Entonces, ahora que hemos leído esta parte, what is resolve? Resolve. What could be resolve? And uh -huh, a way of behaving. Anger that grows over time in a problem or difficulty on purpose. What is like another fall day? In a problem or difficulty. Exacto. Entonces, eso lo vamos leyendo ahí, Saúl, de, del contexto. Nos ayuda bastante leer el, las oraciones que están cerca, cerca de la palabra que, que nos están pidiendo. So now let's check. <laughs> let's check how we did. Okay, very good, Saul. So we did a where, great job where, together. Where is the make sure? I think it's uh, make sure. 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 Okay. Do you get it? Ya las tiene todas ahí. Um, measure. Measure this one. I guess. Measure, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the liberty was the. 
Which one? We saw, no, deliberate, deliberately. Ah, let me see. This one, yes. on purpose. Yes. On purpose. Intencionalmente quiere decir eso, deliberadamente. Okay. And the first one is? Resentment. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, whenever you have a question, let me know, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank no you very problem. much. No problem. So continue with the rest of the activities, okay? So you, you can practice and let me know if you need something, okay? Okay, Saul, so uh, thank you a lot. I'll see you in our next class. And uh, well, as I mentioned before, if you have more questions, let me know. No, this is the name of preguntas, okay? So you can let me have a text. Okay, so bye bye. Happy holidays. So have fun. Thank you. Thank you, you too, teacher. Thanks. Bye bye. I will. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.